Thank you for watching. If this is your first time watching my channel, don't forget to subscribe. We still have a lot coming. If you want us to review the product you want, write its name in the comment after subscribing. Thank you. What's going on guys? I'm Jehovah and I got some uh, I got a new toy in the mail, so I figured I would show you guys. So uh, I first got to try out one of these guys at the Titanfall event, I think, and uh, it grabbed my attention because it was not hooked up to a computer and I got to use it to capture some of the Titanfall gameplay while I was there. And uh, Avermedia was nice enough to send one out for me to try out, so I figured I would share with you guys. So for the purpose of the video, I have a, let's say, so hypothetically speaking, that right there is my setup at an event or uh, staying in a hotel somewhere, right? So I brought my Xbox. My Xbox is hooked up HDMI over here. Uh, power, that's it. Okay, so then the problem is I need a capture card to capture the gameplay. And most generally what comes with that is, oh, I need a laptop um, to hook up the capture card to and then run software, blah, 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 blah. So that's the nice thing about this guy. As you can see here, Here's some wires and stuff in there. Uh, we have, let me get it. I am the best at doing things on camera. All right, so this right here is your capture card, all right? So uh, let me go ahead and I'm gonna skip the video after I put down all the ingredients to this cake, okay? So here you go, you get uh, a USB cable for power to the device and HDMI to hook up the capture card to the TV. And that is it. And also, well, sorry, you will need um, some, it doesn't have any internal uh, memory, so you're gonna have to get an SD card. As you can see here, I have like a little, um, I think it's a 32, I don't know, 32 gig, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter. But you gotta have some, uh, some big enough capacity storage card in there. And uh, that's it. So you need, like I said, so this is the thing that's cool about it. So if I'm going to an event or even staying in a hotel room or whatever, and I don't want to have to pack a shit ton of stuff, um, all I need is this, an HDMI, and a little USB cord, and some storage, a little uh, SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this stuff up. All right, and that is it, guys. So as you can see, that only took me, uh, well, not very long. I don't know exactly how much time, but, so just to go over the basic setup, all right, you have an HDMI from the back of the console to the end port, and then an HDMI from the out to the TV, and then your power from your USB. You can plug it in the back of your 360. Most TVs have USB now, so that's not a big issue. Uh, and that's all you need to do. So. For demonstration purposes, we are going to put in, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Right here. We got some Black Ops 2. Oh god, it almost took my finger off. Be careful for that. Alright, let's see if it boots up. Alright, so apparently that Xbox that I was trying to use doesn't read discs, so uh, look forward to a video soon. I don't know, maybe Legion and I shooting the shit out of it or blowing it up. That'll be fun. Alright, so uh, we have a game here. Let's go ahead and pop it in and I will play a little bit if I can close the trick and capture it and show you guys uh, what kind of quality it can do. So uh, let go. Alright guys, we got some Black Ops 2 local match loaded up here. I got a sick new gamer tag. It's called Player One, as you can see there. Uh, so now that I'm in the match, uh, you can see I'm fucking around. And I'm, ooh, wait, hold on, I'm gonna have to change my inversion. I can't do it, I can't do it not inverted, but anyways. So once you want to start recording, you hit this big shiny red button, and then it starts pulsing, which looks really cool, and uh, now we're live. So, let's uh, try out some quality. So as you can see here is the gameplay. It looks pretty damn good. It is 1280 by 720 resolution at 60 frames per second, which is pretty good. Uh, overall, I enjoy this product because, like I said, it, it fits my mobile lifestyle from time to time. I need something that, uh, 
you know, sometimes it's a pain in the ass to try to bring a laptop with me to some of these events and stuff like that. So some of you guys might not need that, but I do like the portability aspect of it. Um, so yeah, just enjoy the little bit rest of this gameplay and, you know, form your own opinion based on the quality and all that good stuff. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.